Hey everybody, Danny Rod here. Thanks for joining us. If you are struggling with drive, particularly if you're struggling to gain any distance or hit it straight, this drill I think you're gonna absolutely love. Just giving it to a recent student of mine online, Steve. One of the beauties of working remotely with students is, is I've got to give them things that they can really feel because I can't get hands on and help them. I've got to give them drills that actually work and fit so they can develop some feel that they can take to the golf course. This one drill made a huge difference to the speed and accuracy he was generating with drive. And I want to share that with you today because do you know what? I think it could benefit you too. So before I get into it though, if you're new to the channel, this is one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Press that little bell button, next subscribe button, you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. Plus, there's a free practice guide in the description box below. So you don't have to remember a thing, just download it completely for free and take it out away with you. So what is this magic drill I gave to Steve? Well, watch this. I'm gonna swing one-handed for a second, right? Just watch this. And I want to sh watch how much club head speed Trapman is showing me here. I generate with just one arm, right? And then you're gonna see in a second how you can generate so much speed and accuracy by learning to release the driver correctly. Watch this. So have a look at this. 86.9 miles an hour for clubhead speed, didn't quite strike it, with 181 yards of carry with a one arm. Now, why do I show that? I do not show it to impress you in any shape or form. You might not be impressed, but what I want to show you is this. Have I got massive arms? Absolutely not. What I'm doing is I'm learning a feel of how to release this golf club, this driver, correctly and I want to share with you exactly how you could do that too now because it is so vital. Steve would fall into the trap of trying to get all these turns, trying to do these motions with his body here, turn this way, turn that way and do you know what? Whilst doing that he forgot the most important thing was, was learning to really how to this club head swings. The body is simply there to make the club swing more efficiently and raise that yardage and the speed to a greater level. But the first thing you put in place is learning to swing and release this club. So let me show you how you can start to feel this. Grab a golf club now and just start to let it do this. Hold it in two fingers and feel what it's like just to swing like a pendulum. Feel the momentum of that for us just for a second, right? Once you've done that once or twice, just get that feel, grab your trail arm and put your trail arm and continue. So this isn't a golf swing yet, you're just feeling the pendulum now with your arm. Then what I want you to do, keep going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Just sensing that whole momentum of that club, you're continuing it. Now naturally, because the club's out in front of us, it's going to swing on, a, on an arc now. When it was a pendulum, it was here, but because we're out there, we'll naturally create an arc. You don't have to try it, it will create it all on itself because the club is out there. Keep swinging it, you just get a feel for this. Backwards and forwards. Now, watch what happens naturally. If I go to throw this club, you'll notice something very, very significant. When I swing back here, this trail arm here naturally stays quite straight. It then naturally flexes on the downswing and then finally goes back to straight, not at impact, but actually about a club length in front of the golf ball here. This is when the right, my trail arm and the club start to form a straight line. What did I see with Steve? Well, Steve, first of all, was doing this. He picked up his driver, so his trail arm was getting picked up, it was bent. Because it was bent, he then released it too early, got the wrong pattern. Released it early, then got into this flicky position here with a bit of a chicken wing. So what I want you to do now is first of all, get that sense as you're swinging, that his trail arm naturally is a little bit straighter on the way back, not stiff. It naturally flexes and then you try and straighten it after impact, not before. Why do I say before? If you go for the golf ball, if you go at the ball with this and you're trying to hit at the ball, what's going to happen is, is you're going to release these angles too soon. You're going to go straight here, but now the momentum's going to get into this flick position and you never see a top player flicking from there. Yes, they, they're a slight angle here, then they release, then they might get after that, after that point, but up to there, they have literally allowed this club to release just past impact. So the straightness comes after, doesn't before, right? Very, very important. So 
how do you learn to feel this? Well, do you know what I would do? I would start to grab a few balls, okay? Now, if you're right -handed, uh, left handed playing golf right handed, I'm gonna to come to you in a second, so bear with me. So as you're swinging this backwards and forwards, what I want you to do is do it wrong first. Feel like you're releasing it too early, so you get almost this flick here. So you've almost got this kind of bend here. Then I want you to do is to do some swings where you feel it's just straight after impact and just feel the difference. If you hook the golf ball, you hang on too much. You, we, you, you what I call handle draggers. You're dragging it here and you're releasing too late, so you end up violently flipping at the end to get lots of roll. I want you just to feel backwards and forwards what it's like to swing this club so that your club finishes straight here. Not here, here. Now you might be asking, well, Danny, aren't we supposed to hit up on the driver, shouldn't we be trying to get the ball up in the air? The up in the air bit doesn't come from you trying to flick it this way. If you check any of the top players out, there's actually, they have a slight angle in this uh, wrist at impact here, right? The, what gets it going up in the air is, is, first of all, they have a little kink in their body here. If you want to learn more details on the setup with driver and the difference between irons and uh, the driver swing, I'll put a link up into this top right hand corner. Then they also push up off the ground, so they're using their body to hit the ball up in the air. They're not using their flick of the wrist to do that, all right? This is the swing here, bang. They're always releasing to a point just after impact. Very, very important. So what I want to do is, is very simply, is just practice this nice wide swing, then practice getting the sensation of what it feels like to release the club after impact. All right, so have a look at this in action. You could do it one-handed if you wanted. Okay, so hit another one. Let's see what that looks like. That felt pretty good. So we've got 87.7 miles an hour club at speed, a 204 yard carry with one arm. Now, I, you can see, look, I'm not huge, I'm not, I'm not a huge guy, but what I'm doing is I'm generating club head speed because I'm learning to feel what it's like to swing this club like a pendulum, yeah? Allowing momentum to go. It's a long release, it's not a short release. Slices, you release quickly, too early. Hookers, you release too late, bang. So both releases are too short. We want a long release, which happens naturally. Look at this, pendulum, one. It's a long release. It's not bang, release it all here. Neither is it hang on, hang on, hang on, short at the end. It's a long release of this golf club, just because you're letting go all the time. Now, developing the feel for this, I would hit some shots also where I get into a flicky position, so I, I learn to feel what that's like. Flicky is gonna get you crumpled. I'll also, for me, I'm more of a handle dragger, I hook the ball sometimes, I get a bit here. So I need to, for me, the feeling for me is that I often have to release it earlier, yeah, to stop this. You might have to feel like you're releasing it later. It doesn't matter, but the drill will teach you that, right? Now, once you've done one or two of them, you could put your lead hand back on and, do, and just imagine the same thing, just releasing just after the golf ball. So you're trying to get the straight line happening here, not here, okay? So I'm practicing here, just swinging, I'm gonna release after that golf ball there. Let's have a look at this in action. So nice, again, I'm not gonna go for any big shots at the moment, just literally relax. I think I should go one-handed, it's gonna be straight at that. Okay, so just bit by bit, getting that sensation of releasing this golf club. Now, once you've done one or two of them, you could then do the same with your lead hand. Now, I'm nowhere near as good with my lead hand hitting a shot um, because I'm not left-handed, right? But what I can do is, is your lead arm always stays pretty straight on the way back and pretty straight on the way through. The difference is, is look, the flex happens this flex here naturally happens on the, uh, on the way down and then on the way through, we then go to straight, just like we did with our uh, trail arm, right? So we're going back and we're just practicing this. Now, do we want to have this release? No, that's going to lead to a chicken wing, yeah? Do I want the handle dragger? No, that's going to lead to flip. So I'm practicing the feel of the release 
happening right there. Now I join the two hands together and I get myself set. I'm getting nice and relaxed, getting the feel of that club head, swinging it back here and that felt pretty good. Yeah? So gradually I'm building up this release and then I'll start adding in the power. Now I can't swing too fast at the moment because I'm a little bit injured, but I feel like I've got a sensation of what's coming. Now, once you've done that once or twice, you can then start to hone in and start to straighten this all up a little bit here. You can see, look, my club path is a little bit four point, uh, a bit into out. No problem, I'll just start to swing a little bit more this way with this golf club. Simple, nothing more complicated. If you're a slicer and your path is this way and coming, then I just say, oh, okay, no problem. I'm gonna release, get a sense of releasing the club a bit more where? That away, nothing more complicated than that. But the wonderful thing about this is, you learn the sense of this swinging release first, yeah? Then add in the club, get a feel for that. And then the two elements here is just keeping this trail arm naturally a little bit straighter on the way back, and then release it, and it arrives back straight here, doesn't rely, arrive back straight here with the golf club. Very, very important. All right, so I really hope you, uh, this helps. It certainly helped Steve loads. It's a very simple and natural way of creating a very easy swing, but more importantly, it's something that you can learn to feel. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, share it with some of your friends if you think this could benefit. Of course, give it a thumbs up. And look, remember, there's a free practice guide in the description box below. You do not have to remember a thing. And of course, look, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first videos of mine. Press that subscribe button and the bell so I can see you next week. But until next week, have a great golfing week.